Okay, so I've got the iPad here with my act on. So, ah, okay, this is weird. All right. So I'm going to invite Ant and Deck on stage, if you would, please. Can we have a round of applause? So I'm pulling Ant and Deck in. It's important in this that I get the keys examined because I've got 20 keys and none of those keys will open that lock and only one does and it's in my pocket. So we didn't have time to go through all 20 keys because, you know, I, I, we haven't got all day. The show's not just about me. They, they're checking the keys a few at random and then they're checking the one that does open the lock and then that one gets mixed in with the other 20 and shaken up and dumped in the tank. So it, it literally is like a um, trying to find a needle in a haystack and it, it, it's pretty hard. And, and actually, I haven't done this water escape a lot, but it's not that it went wrong because I've rehearsed, but this was the longest I've ever been underwater uh, live in this act. The last time I did it live, I was under there for a minute and 52 seconds. So this was 18 seconds longer. Yeah, I think everybody thinks I'm nuts right now. Uh, but trust me when I tell you that, oh, there's my mom and my dad and my brother. Cool. Trust me when I tell you that when I'm, when I'm at a minute 20, minute 30, I am done. Like my, everything I've got is gone. So then I'm just literally hanging on for dear life. And so, what, what happened was when the keys got dumped in the tank, they kind of floated underneath me. And so I, I'm doing it all with my eyes closed and I'm doing it blind and I couldn't find the right key. Uh, so it took me a lot longer to get the right keys. It took me 20 seconds longer. So I'm being, I'm being handcuffed in right now. Alicia looks pretty scared. There's actually a GoPro in there, which is really cool because that's that it got people inside the tank with me and I, I, I really, I'm doing my breathe up now. So when I do my breathe up, what, what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to get all, expel all the carbon dioxide, which is the oxygen that gets turned into carbon dioxide. I'm trying to expel all that out of my lungs and fill my lungs with oxygen uh, is what I'm doing in my breathe up. And I remember on the second breathe up, I actually was thinking, what the heck am I doing here? Uh, I remember thinking that vividly. What am I doing here? How did I get here? Why am I here? Uh, I, at that moment before I went underwater, it, it was kind of the last place I wanted to be. Um, and si see, I'm seeing Simon's reactions here and the judges and I, I, I didn't see any of this because my eyes were closed. I'm doing it all by feel, all blind, so, and I can't hear anything. So I'm doing it all blind. The cuffs are off. The cuffs actually came off at 45 seconds, which is nuts. Because I remember, I, I remember when the cuffs came off, I was, I was panicking a little bit. I think I actually hit the side of the box. Um, yeah, here, I hit the side of the box and I was just, I remember panicking a bit because the cuffs never, it never takes me 45 seconds to get the cuffs off. And, and so I'm already behind the eight ball on that. So I remember panicking a bit, but the problem is if I panic, I'm gonna burn oxygen more. If I think, I'm gonna burn oxygen. If I move, which I have to, I'm gonna burn oxygen. So really, this, this is completely counterproductive to anybody being underwater because you know, you're not supposed to move or, or think or anything to conserve oxygen. Um, but I remember, and I've started doing the keys now, and I remember at this point now, it's like one, one minute, 40 seconds, and I was done, uh, as is Simon right now. <laughs> oh my God. Actually, uh, the, you, you notice when you watch the video, I have a big um, kind of gash cut on my leg. That came from training. I actually fell and took my leg um, up and, and gashed all my leg up. I still have the scars to this day, actually. I remember doing it and thinking, oh my God, I'm, I'm going on live television now. I've got this huge gash on my leg. Oh my God. Yeah, they're, they're all freaking out right now. Now this, this, this bit that's coming up right now, I had no idea happened. Simon Cowell actually stood up to stop the whole thing and I, not a clue, and it, it literally stands up as I come out and I, my dad's freaking out. Okay. I don't like doing this to my parents. <sighs> that moment, that moment where I came out and stood up and everybody stands up with me, I think they all felt it. Like I was so done. I remember being in there and thinking, I am on like the biggest stage in the world and, and I cannot mess this up. And that's the only thing that kept me going all the way through. You're on the biggest stage in the world, hold it a bit longer, hold it a bit longer, hold it a bit. So when I came out, I felt like, I, I just felt like Thor or something coming out. And I was, I felt like the God of War and I just came out, I remember screaming and, and 
then I don't remember anything else. I don't remember the judges standing. I don't really remember what they said. <laughs> but I'm saying yes. Alicia. Uh, I'm saying yes. There's the yeses. There's Alicia, there's Amanda, and then Simon. There's my mom, my dad, and greatest experience of my life, other than getting married to my wife. <laughs>